Hello everyone and welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to learn how to update Git on Mac. So to update Git on Mac, we are going to first call brew install git. This command is going to install the latest version of Git. But if you have a previous version of Git already, then your computer will have both versions of Git. And by default, you are going to still use the old version. And you can check with git dash dash version. And you'll see Apple at the end here. You'll see git version 2.35.1 followed by Apple. So I don't see it because this is the latest version. But if you have two versions and you just installed a second one, then if you try to use Git, you're still by default using the old version. So if you want to use the new version, which we just installed with this command, then you have to add that version as your path variable. So you have to add it to your environment variables on your computer. For that, you're going to use the following command, export path equals user slash local slash bin path. This means we are going to take our brew installation path, the link or location of, brew, of git rather that we just installed, and we're going to add it to our path variables, which means instead of using the old version of git when we use the git keyword, we're now going to use the new version of git when we use the git keyword. So you hit enter and now the new version of git is added to our path variables, which means when we use the command git, we're no longer using the old version, we're using the new version. So the key here is to install git again, which will give you two versions, and then to add the new version to your path with this command. And this command is going to take whatever you just installed and add it to your path variables. So this updates the git variable. So now in your terminal, when you use git, that variable has been updated. That variable no longer points to the old version. It now points to the new version. So you only have to do this if you're updating git. If you had a version of git and then you want a new version of git. So that is how you can update git on Mac. Then you can check your version again with the same command git dash dash version. And you should see git version 2.35.1, for example, without any Apple text after it. All right, so I can show you an example of what this would look like. Here, you would use brew install git and check the version, and you would see an old version like 2.32.0 Apple git 132, because if you install git twice with a new version, then you'll have the old version and you'll have the new version. So if you want to change your variable to point to the new version instead of the old version, you have to add this command, which is going to update the environment variable git, which is a variable on your computer. It's going to update it to no longer be the old version. It's going to update the variable to be the new version, which you just installed. So this is a summary of what you should see in your terminal. If you liked this video, then go to training.mammothinteractive.com. We have tons more content on blockchain, web development, machine learning, and much more. We also have a membership for just $19 a month where you can get access to our 372 course bundle and counting.